from their large inquiring eyes and whiskered snouts to their playful personalities. The only thing that seems to separate a sea lion from man's best friend is a pair of flippers. Recent findings have discovered a common ancestor between the two, proving that fun-loving dogs of the sea and land canines do not fall far from the same tree. Here are 13 reasons why sea lions are exactly like dogs. Thirteen, they're unaffected by humans. Sea lions are known to have very sharp teeth, and just like any animal, can cause harm if provoked. Just as one wouldn't want to corner a terrified alley dog, the same common sense should be applied when approaching wild animals. Bearing that in mind, sea lions are very much like dogs, in that both are unaffected by human presence. Namely, they were never taught to show fear or flee in the face of human confrontation. Since sea lions are pretty much pudgy beach dwellers that spend much of their time on the rocks or rolling in the sand, they've become adapted to having humans in close quarters. When a group of Galapagos sea lions was observed for their behaviour around groups of beachgoers, scientists found that the animals were far from blasé when welcoming visitors to their isles. In fact, they approached people in the same curious manner, just as domesticated dogs might. 12. They're extremely curious. Sea lions are notorious for their fun-loving spirit and nosy nature. If a person ventures too close with flash equipment, a sea lion will get right up to the lens and sniff out what the contraption has to offer them. Rather than posing, these curious animals will sniff, lick and investigate your camera while it's still in your hand. Better yet, they've been known to swim up to divers and get up close and personal with their digital devices, even going so far as to stick their snouts right in the shot. These fuzzy sea mammals resemble dogs in that they rarely shy away from attention. 11. Like dogs, they make odd noises. Ever heard a pug tell you they love you? What about a cocker spaniel howling obscenities? Or at least it would seem to, from the kitchen floor. Sea lions behave accordingly, and have been heard perched atop rock formations, wailing, howling and hooting at nothing, and no one in particular. Attention seeker? Sounds about right. And let's not forget that sea lions can actually bark, a trait that makes them more like dogs than ever. 10. They'll take up bench space and refuse to budge. Just as Fido will forever pervade the empty space on a recliner or couch, sea lions have been photographed lounging across leisure benches meant for people. In fact, if a person happens to take a seat next to a snoozing sea lion, they can expect that the animal will stay put, as they are hard pressed to abandon their beauty sleep for nothing. Sea lions aren't shy when it comes to comfort, they'll sleep curled up just about anywhere. They've even been spotted cozying up near people while trying to enjoy a peaceful read on the beach or soak up some afternoon rains. For these friendly creatures, personal space is not an issue. 9. Sleep is far more important than anything else. When they aren't splashing playfully in the waves or barking from rocks, sea lions love to sleep. In fact, these sleepy seafarers can nod off for up to 12 hours at a time. The species are considered phygmotactic, meaning they love to lie all over each other, which is why so often you see large clusters of sea lions bathing on top of one another, on the shore and in the sun. An extremely cuddly and affectionate bunch, these marine mammals love to lay amongst and nuzzle their own kind during these highly coveted snooze sessions in the sand. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to What Lurks Below and hit the bell to get notified. 8. They demand attention. Sea lions have been known to roll up and plop down anywhere permissible, even if that means taking up residence along paths meant for people walking to and from the beach. In the Galapagos Islands, one such group of seals would hang out on the beaten path and bark for attention from curious passers-by. The animals maintained a refusal to budge along the path unless given treats, pets, or lavished with lots of love and affection. 7. They don't play nice with other dogs. When two groups are paired off, both will stand their ground and bark excitedly at the other, maybe because they don't share the ability to mark their spot at the same hydrant. 
So in this case, territory remains a bit of an issue. When groups of canines approach other groups of sea lions, a standoff occurs, and both will confidently hold their ground and stare down the other. Funny that dog mermaids really can bark, as this trait seems to link the two species more than anything. 6. They beg for food Sea lions couldn't compare to dogs if they didn't possess the inherent trait of begging for scraps of food. In one video, a slippery sea lion is seen hopping on the back end of a speedboat in attempts to sway his new friends into sharing their onboard snacks. The unbashful beast eats a fair share of fish before deciding he's had his fix and dives back into the seawater once again. At SeaWorld, a video shows a hungry Californian sea lion jump onto rocks outside his pen and playfully bark and whistle at park visitors as they toss him scraps of food. Like dogs, these creatures are smart enough to know that all it takes is a little charm before their wish is our command. 5. They love going for rides Dogs are notorious for going crazy at the notion of a simple ride along. They love hanging their shaggy faces or splayed tongues out the window with not a care in the world, except for the cool wind lapping at their faces. Sea lions have been known to exhibit similar behaviour. In the Galapagos, for example, one such friendly sea lion is photographed taking daily rides on a resident kayak. The passive passenger can be seen joyfully perched up front with a look of great pleasure as the salty sea air laps at his face and blows through his whiskers. 4. They love to play fetch Sea lions showcased in marine exhibits are particularly friendly and have been seen playing fetch with visitors. Home videos feature small children tossing balls or fruits to one another outside glass aquariums as eager sea lions fret back and forth to join in on the action. In fact, they love attention and will do just about any water trick for anyone willing to watch. Sea lions have been recorded on numerous occasions, performing somersaults for a few laughs and scraps of fish. In one instance, a Washington DC man had been going to the Smithsonian National Zoo for over 30 years before he discovered a playful playmate in one of the attractions there. According to John Aravosis, he discovered the creature's hobby when he caught the sea lion following a person's hand and twirling in the water whenever the hand made a circle. Afterward, at the animal's gesture toward a stick on the opposite side of the glass, the man knew he was in for a fun little game. Since then, Aravosis frequents the aquarium daily to delight in the session of virtual fetch, watching the animal perform a flip in lieu of catching the stick. It's clear that sea lions really do love to play fetch, just like man's best friend on land. 3. They love being pet Clearly these dogs of the sea are man's best underwater friend. As for years, divers have engaged in underwater play with the delightful animals. Footage shows the fearless marine mammals swimming up to divers and nudging their hands or giving a gentle nibble to solicit a pet. Sea lions love their bellies and backsides rubbed as well, and will stay with a diver forever if it means having the undersides of their chin scratched. In one such video, a diver is seen giving a hearty rub down to a very happy sea lion when several other of the animal's friends decide to infiltrate the scene and get in on the action. The image of the animals floating on their backs, eyes closed and tongues splayed could not be any more similar to a canine's favourite pastime on land, the chin scratch and belly rub. 2. They look like dogs Sea lions belong to a group of animals called pinnipeds, which refers to any class of marine mammal possessing front and rear flippers. All pinnipeds possess huge canine teeth that may compete with a powerful breed of Rottweiler, a well-known guard dog and household protector. Because of their teeth alone, pinnipeds ought to be considered the seafaring equivalent of a wolf or small bear. This group of mammals comes from an order called Caniformia, meaning dog-like. And this may explain the narrow faces, wide-set and innocent eyes, whiskered snouts and sleek bodies. So, the next time you spot a flippered sea pup out in the ocean, bear in mind that the aquatic animal is a very specifically evolved fish-devouring water canine. In fact, when scientists closely examined the flippers of pinnipeds, they found remaining hind claws that closely resemble human nails, just like dogs. 1. They share an ancestor For years, the ancestral link was widely debated. But now, scientists have found a common link between sea lions and dogs. 
both members come from the same taxonomic suborder of the animal kingdom, the order Caniformia, meaning dog-like. Seals, sea lions and walruses are all considered pinnipeds, belonging to the Caniformia suborder, with other Caniformias to include bears, weasels, pandas, raccoons and, wait for it, dogs. Since the skulls of sea lions, bears, dogs and wolves are so indistinguishable at first glance, the theory is that they all diverged from a bear-like or dog-like ancestor millions of years ago during the transition between land and sea. Caniforms are mostly all carnivorous animals, which include an extinct group called the dog bear. Apparently, pinnipeds split from other caniforms around 50 million years ago during the Eocene period, an evolutionary stunt theorised by Darwin himself, in which he popularised the notion of a prehistoric land mammal which developed physical attributes that would enable it to survive at sea. The fossil, which was recently discovered linking the two groups, was even named after the famous theorist due to his early prediction. Called Pergilla Darwini, the creature which roamed the Earth 24 million years ago was three feet long and resembled the body of an otter. Do you think sea lions are puppers of the sea? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe to what lurks below.